So I have to upgrade my castle to survive 50 years of endless enemies and ruthless bosses. And we start with our three heroes on the tower here that are waiting the impending slime army. And we can send out a bunch of special units to go out and confront them because each of these heroes has special abilities like lightning strikes. That was very good. And we got a victory in the first wave. So we can get some more archers and a few more archers. And then we fight the next wave, which has even more things coming in. Thankfully, they all get struck by lightning. At least half of them do anyway. But none of them make it to the castle, so we're good. And we can upgrade the castle, which gets us a worm on our side. Not even sure what this worm is good for, except stealing MP. It's not even an Alaskan bull worm. Anyway, let's get more archers and get some skill upgrades, like more golden come, because that'll give us more units to mess with, because we're going to need that to fight off all these zombies that are coming in now. Actually, our units are doing really good, even the worm. And we can send out the soldiers as a backup. Oh no, that one made it. Oh, but he didn't get to slap it. He almost did. And we get another skill point. Let's increase our overall damage. And we can also give our heroes some up upgrades. This knight does really good, so we'll give him the first upgrade. And then just wait for more enemies to come in so we can do more things. And there's a lot of slimes this time. Let's just send out the knights that proceed to walk right through everybody, even though they didn't get everybody. So in that case, we're going to need some more archers. And I'm thinking the next upgrade we can get will be for the castle. And just strike all the enemies at once. Very good. Oh, we have a boss coming in. Oh, what, <laughs> what are you? King of slimes or something like that? Let's uh, activate the archers so they shoot even faster. Okay, he's doing a laser beam attack, but thankfully he goes down very quickly. I don't even think our castle was in very much danger but we'll still upgrade it because that gives us another post to put another person sadly we can't afford another person except for this archer might as well fill the space with somebody so let's just activate your trick and you just fire arrows very quickly i like it and now we get started on wave 10 so there's probably another boss coming in and also whatever those things are Ugh. get them away from my tower okay more catapults coming in let's shock all of you very good and send in the knights to face i guess a mega zombie is what that is and fire a volley right at the guy. Okay, he made it to the tower, but thankfully he gets melted super quick. Very good. And let's upgrade the town archers so they fire faster. And now we have a lot of gold to work with, so we can get in a flame tower over here. That should do some good damage. Plus it has critical damage. Now I wonder what the new enemies are gonna be this time. Uh, dark wizards or something? I'm not sure, they're all dead. Hey, as long as I don't have to worry about them. And that's a lot of catapults. Okay, time to send in the knights, which do very good. The catapults do pretty much no damage to my tower. And we win. Now let's upgrade the castle again. I want another slot, which it didn't give us, but we did get more HP, so there's that going for us. How about we upgrade again for defenses over there? Sure. And now wave 15, so the new boss is coming in. I'll hold off on the hero abilities until it shows up, because everybody else can handle the normal units pretty effectively. And he should be rolling up any second now. And it's just a big slime on the ground. Okay. Fire Mage, do the thing. Ooh, good meteors. Yes. And just decimate the boss before he does anything crazy which he couldn't and now the game is telling us to go to town we can go to town cool and we can get some workers Ooh, passive gold income i want gold so then he's just gonna go and harvest that and then we get some passive income i love it and oh gross pink blob monsters thankfully Whoa, they go down very quickly i don't like the looks of them at all matter of fact let's just shock them Get out of here. Get off of my screen. They really just seem to be meat shields, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's what their name was. But now we have another experience point. So let's upgrade the archer's attack speed again. And we'll wait one more wave before spending something so we can hire another hero for this slot over here. And my goodness, that's a thick batch of enemies. Thankfully, the catapults do pretty much nothing. And no one else can really get close to the tower. They get a little close, but it's not terrible. Okay, another band of catapults. Let's just shock them to take them out quicker. And the rounds are staying relatively relatively simple to complete, which I like. And this poor little guy is working by himself. He really needs a friend. That's fine though. We can get some military band members. Ooh, this one gets better gold increase. Or what does the priest do? Increases units attack on the field. There's a lot of weird abilities and some of them I can't even get yet. Like a bazooka man somewhere in the world. Sure he is. I think we'll put bonus gold in this last slot and then level him up some so there's extra bonus gold and he'll just work towards us getting better money and wave 18 offers no challenge at all just a bunch of catapults coming in thankfully i have an answer for that in the form of lightning and knights and i think it's time we gave our heroes increased damage as well now i do want to buy another unit so i can replace a band member on the boss stages so let's go ahead and get the ogre so we can knock enemies back and then just level you up some so you're worth it we do have one more wave before the boss and he replaced the band member anyway i didn't mean to do that that's fine though he's doing a good job 
job. Just hucking his own boulders. And then if we activate him, oh yeah, everybody gets pushed back, which bunches them up nicely for the lightning. Ooh, that was perfect. And let's send in the knights because there's actually a lot of catapults right there. Not that they're much of a threat. I just want to get them taken out quickly. And this is quite the lengthy way, but we got it taken care of. And I do want to replace this white mage. All he does is reduce units cooldown, which I haven't had an issue with yet. This elf here steals 2% MP per hit, which is better than the worm right now, but the worm does a lot of damage. Uh, we could get a tree for bonus XP. That will really help us. Or the trophy. Well, the trophy could help us. But right now, we'll get the ice mage because he can freeze units, which is just in time for the boss wave. Wave 20. So once the boss shows up, we can freeze all the enemies that are coming in. Okay, there's a big boss. It's a wish.com titan. Whatever that's about. Let's just freeze. Oh, it froze everybody but the boss. Well, that's fine then. Let's just... Where's my mouse? Send the knights after them. Yes, do it. Okay, took the tower down halfway, but we still win. And that's a good time to get better damage. And this should have given us another contract piece, I believe, so we can buy another worker for back here. Okay, now it's time to get more units, so let's upgrade the tower again, which put a road back there. Oh, a back wall. I guess that works. And I do like that this guy increases Archer's attack speed, so we'll get you, and we can do a promotion. Ah, oh, I see. Once we get him leveled up enough, we can prestige him into different tech trees. Cool, but that's for later. Now, I feel like it might be time to retire the worm. He does good damage, but I feel like I can get a unit with better skills, like a cannon that deals splash damage. I think yes. Let's upgrade you already. He almost does 50 damage. Wow. Let's go ahead and get you and give you an upgrade right away because I feel like I'm gonna like you. So if I activate you, oh yes, I can summon my own giants. Yes, this is the best thing ever. Tear them apart, which I'm not sure how good you're doing. I don't think you're doing that good. Oh, but he can take out the meat bags in one shot. Okay, that's actually pretty good. He just needs better attack speed or something. Thankfully, the cannon is good for taking out groups, so I have even less to worry about. And now let's upgrade the archers again and again and again. Now we have two full squads and some skill points I can put in for better attack speed from the archers for a 12.5% bonus. Now, something else I've been wondering about, there are these towns that if we take them over, will give us extra gold. And I'm thinking our tower is strong enough to take them out. So let's just go ahead and send in the giant to take care of things right away. And then the knights as well for extra backup. And we'll increase the attack speed of the archers. As long as we can keep a good mana economy, we should have this in the bag. And their castle is already very good on the way to destruction. Just gotta quickly hold back the line, hold the line, and yes, we took it down. Ha ha! Red Town was colonized. Yes, develop it. So now we get 410 gold every minute. And what is this cart? Is that a... Oh, that's the money. Hey, hey, $410. Thank you very much. I thought that was a bomb cart coming in, but it's good things. And look at that. We're getting 3,000 gold every wave now, which if we upgrade the archers again, what happens? Ooh, he gets hair. I think he's happy with that. I don't know if I'm happy with it though. Let's just go ahead and upgrade the bomb cannon. And already the second money card's coming in. That was a good idea to take over that town. If only I could get some units to help this guy back here. Oh, hey, I could afford it. I didn't even know how many of the things I had. It's so crazy too. My units are able to keep them back far enough that the bomb cannon can't even get in range. I say that's a good problem to have. And we'll still keep the cannon as backup. Even these faster units, they just barely get in range, but they're already dead by the time the cannon fires. This is amazing. And now let's upgrade the castle some more times. Now comes the difficult part. I like the arrangement that we have, but I also wonder about replacing some of our units. If we save up a little more money, we can get one of these extra unique heroes, like an angel, or if we could get Zeus on our side or a Golem Master. Ooh, and that's not very expensive. But now we're on wave 30, so we'll see how bad these bosses get. Frankly, I feel like the boss is gonna have a very bad day, but that is a lot of catapults right there. Thankfully, they go down quickly enough, and now the boss is here. Oh, it's another big zombie. Okay, then. Giant, meet my giant. And you just totally pass him by. You're supposed to fight the boss, you dingus. There we go. And now we can take off this archer and see who we can replace you with, like the golem master. I really want to see this happen, and I'm guessing you just summon the golem on your own? I'm not seeing a mana cost. We'll just upgrade you some. Yeah, you don't have a mana cost. Interesting. Let's Hello, go ahead man. and see what happens. Oh, the golem is right there. Hey! And he doesn't have a bar above his head. Oh, so he is immortal. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, golem, you want a giant friend? So you two can run and skip through the field while you're beating up all these guys? Oh, that's amazing. I need more of these. Oh, and there's grim reapers coming in too. Well, they try to anyway. I'm thinking the stone golem needs a lot more 
attack increase. He couldn't even take out a slime on his own. But there's other high profile heroes we can get too. A few moments later. Okay, I've been laying funds pile in for about a half hour now. And so we have 18 and a half thousand monies that we can use. We can call in Zeus to fight for us. And he attacks on his own with pretty good damage. And he can be promoted too. Not really sure how gods get promoted, but what do I know? And there's also a goblin here that can summon TNTs and throw them, I guess. Which would be a good compliment to the cannon. So let's replace the fire mage with that. There we go. And level you up once. And now it's time to put some more upgrades into our tower. So we'll do that again. Ooh, we're almost to the top of the tower. Look at that. And then we can upgrade the archers some more. So another one has hair. And then this wave should be no problem at all with the golem and everything else going on. So the two guys over here are a bit slow, but ooh. Oh, you were way late on throwing that bomb there, my friend. Why don't you try again against all the meat bags? And booyah. Ooh, that was good damage. And Zeus is also doing good numbers. The less I have to do, the better. And all of these expensive guys are doing really Really good for that. The Grim Reapers can't even get close. And the Stone Golem is having a field day over there. I say we're doing pretty good. I didn't even need to activate any abilities. So let's increase the hero damage since we're getting a lot more of the passive ones and upgrade the tower some more. So now it has a little top to it. Can we get another row of heroes? I don't know if that would fit up there, but for now let's upgrade Zeus. And again, I kind of want to promote him to see how crazy powerful that is. So we just got to beat up more baddies so we get more money. Now, how good does his lightning do? Oh, it can almost take out the goblins in one hit. I'd say that's pretty powerful. And for the heck of it, I'll summon the giant again, which thankfully this giant has a shirt. That means he's civilized. And he has a lot of fun just punching everything in the face before he disappears. And then we just give more upgrades to Zeus. I would like more of these passive guys, but I ultimately wonder if they're not as powerful as the ones that you actually have to use. I mean, the field gets cleared either way, so I can't complain too much. I'm just gonna give Zeus some more upgrades. And he's two levels away. Maybe we can afford it after we take out this boss. Because we're at wave 35. And the Stone Golem still really can't take out any enemies by himself. But at least he doesn't go away ever. And there's the boss. It's one of those slimes that's on the ground again. Time to summon in a giant just to take you out really quickly. And that is that. Oh, and we can build another thing in town. Like some shops. But those are really expensive though. And I really wish I knew how many of these contractor tickets I had. I'm thinking I think his speed is going to be key here, so we'll take that upgrade. Oh, I see. That's a special power up. Well, I'll just leave that there. So let's upgrade our castle one more time and we can get another tower in here. So why don't we just bring the wormy boy back? And now let's go ahead and get another one of those special units. Who am I not really using anymore? The ice mage. Let's go ahead and get rid of you and bring in Elizabeth because the kraken does 500% damage. I think that's a worthy experiment to do. The golem loses his end friend, but I'm pretty sure he didn't miss him anyway. Now let's summon the kraken. Ooh, there it goes. And I'm pretty sure it just annihilated those things right away. Excellent. Here comes the discount titan to fight my own titan. And wow, he just got obliterated. So then we should have some additional contracts to hire some more workers. To hire two more, in fact. Now that first worker has some friends to go along with him. I bet he feels really good about that. And then the golem gets some more upgrades. And he's doing quite a bit of damage to the dark cloaked figures now. I really have no idea what those are, but as long as the golem does his part, we'll be okay. And I think it's time to look at some other towers that we can invest in because there's some good ones down here, like a turret or a barracks, a homing missile attack from this turret for more splash damage and a lot of just regular damage. So let's see how good this turret can do. It is more towards the front, so hopefully that means that it can attack sooner than the cannon, even though the cannon is attacking much sooner. And it's not really doing anything. I guess it's more of a buffer than anything. At least it's what it feels like it's doing. It really isn't doing anything at all. I'm not really sure why you didn't do anything there, friend. Homing missile attack. Well, for what? Well, I feel like that might have been another bad investment. Well, if that's the case, then I can look into checking out this mirror that's supposed to duplicate a tower. Target is the right side of the mirror. So we buy that and then move the mirror down here so then we can put the cannon right next to it and then put some money into leveling up the goblin. So hey, look, there's two cannons now. Oh, that's amazing. And it's firing a lot sooner too because it's so much closer. That's perfect. Who needs a homing missile when you can have just a series of cannons defending your tower? Oh, that's amazing. They're not getting near nearly as close as they used to. I just have so many explosions going on now. The catapults aren't even a threat anymore. Oh, I love this. I need to upgrade my castle for more tower slots. Hey, like that one, which I guess I can put the turret into to see if it'll do something. I also just realized this is wave 45. I don't think the boss knows what it's in for. And it's another one of these weird giga chad slimes. So that's 
kind of strange. But he just gets melted instantly. So downside of this homing tower, let's take you out and put in a thorn worm, I think could be good. It attacks monsters in a straight line. It does really good damage, so hopefully it's good for it. And now with the extra money, we can upgrade the goblin. Now we can promote it into whichever one of these two. Increase gunpowder type units attack? No. We'll just give it this one. So now it can have better cooldown. So the knight has been one of my first beginner units, but I feel like he's due to be replaced because I don't use his ability very much. Maybe I replace him with an angel that can summon more angels and then just give you an upgrade for good measure. And then if we activate it, ooh, they're flying. Well, that's pretty cool. They kind of stagger their approach, which is a little weird, but then they just fly in and hopefully they do good damage. They're pretty fast, it seems like, but they also don't last as long. That's okay, they're not upgraded. I'm not really seeing a difference in performance, so I'm not sure what upgrades are good. Let's just summon the angels again and see how they do. The enemies are kind of dying so fast the angels don't know where to go, which is really not good for their performance, but it seems they cut down pretty good. It's just very hard to tell. My castle has become too strong. I can't see where it needs improvement. But maybe the melee units just really aren't the way to go. So let's go back to a ranged unit, such as the fire mage that we had, and then just give you some upgrades because you deserve it. And then I want to see about taking out another one of these villages. Like this one offers a nice amount of money, but it's a little bit tougher. Hopefully everything can keep up with the large amount of numbers that pour out of the castle. I guess this is what all the active abilities are for, just so we can make sure that they don't get close enough to hurt us. And also just pour a lot of arrows into their main structure right there. It's also weird to see a tentacle wrap around the citadel. It's like, what are you gonna do there? Oh gosh, you're attacking the tower. Ah, Bali, hey, get away. Go away. Oh, that was close. They took down our tower by half already. At least I have another volley on standby in case I need it. And they're staying relatively far away. I just need to keep an eye on their progression. Okay, time to fire. And they fire way past the enemies and into the tower. That's not what I wanted you to do. That's okay. I have more mana abilities on standby, I think. I don't have a lot of mana points. Oh, hopefully they take out the tower. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, yes, we got it. Woo. Oh, that was close. Our tower almost went down, but we got it. And that's a nice bonus to our income. A thousand and a half every minute. And thankfully, it wasn't very long before the next batch. So the money gets dumped in right there. Very good. And we can upgrade our tower again. Very good. And we got mini tower going up over there. He's going to grow up big and strong. I can tell. And then we upgrade the castle again. We have a leader slot now. Oh, but that's expensive. Although I'm liking the looks of these. We'll have to look at that in the future. Once I have enough money, that is. And now this is the final wave that we have to get to. Level 50. I'm feeling pretty good about it. But just in case, let's upgrade as many of our archers as we can. So we can give them all the hairdos. And we have one full faction that's full of the hairdos. So that's good. And then we'll put the rest of the money towards upgrading this cannon. So it gets nice explosion damage that the mirror can leech off of. And now let's put all of our upgrades to work. Some passive allies and some active ones that I'm not sure I need to use, but they're there just in case, which is always good. I wonder what the boss is going to be at wave 50. Hopefully something big and impressive and not one of the enemies that we fought like 10 times before. Wave timer is just about run out. He should be popping up. And there's his health bar. Oh, it's another one of you. Well, let's just take you out quickly and be done with it. And oh, he actually made it to the tower. Well, good job on you. And we did it. We beat wave 50. And look at all the progress that we made on our tower. It's looking very good. And there's room for more upgrades in the future. So if you guys want to see more of this game, then be sure to let me know. And thank you very much for watching this video. Sub to intern. And I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Agent Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, Peggy Sue O, and Drupalong.